G'day guys and girls, welcome to another uh, cheeky video. In this one, as you can see, we've got a van. <laughs> Behind the camera is my beautiful wife, drinking beers. Just quietly guys, these Byron Bays, I love them. So yeah, in this video we're going to do a run through on things we like, things we dislike, a quick bit of like a setup on the Altitude, Altitude Campus of Scent 13. B. Bunks. <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. Alright guys, so we'll just give you a rundown on our little um, Ascent 13B. Obviously she's a 13 foot, what well, might not be that obvious, but the 13 stands for it's the 13 foot van when she's all packed up. What did you say the measurement was? 5.6 metres? Yes. Um, 2.3 tall, all closed up. Yeah. So she's pretty compact. Nice and it's one, compact. Of the, one of the things we really like, how nimble and how we don't, if the sign says caravans don't go here, we can generally still go there. Yep. Um, start the front here. One of the things we um, sort of attracted us is that it doesn't have like a front box with the um, gas bottles and everything or like a toolbox that you see a lot of them have. This is all sort of inbuilt, integrated. If I open this one up for you, that's just where sort of our gas bottles live. And you've got your regulator and everything else like normal. We got two nine kilos came with it, or two eight and a half, so they're not nine kilos anymore. And that's just where we keep um, power cords, sort of your grey water hose, bin. I've got the um, the leg putter downer. That's a technical term. Um, yeah, that sort of stuff in the front box there. We went and bought ourselves a cheap bin bag just for bottles and cans, really, because well, we hate a drink. Don't look at the brand. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> right. It's only a bin bag. <laughs> On this side, again, it's just probably what most people would keep in a toolbox. I've just got <gasps> um, an extra jerry. There's a compressor and our hoses, a camp oven, gas bottle and some recovery gear. So just some random stuff. And a brick. <laughs> and a brick. Just for the jockey wheel, for a bit of support. We found we have the ARC 500. When we skip around the other side, I'll show you. Reckon it needs probably the 750, to be completely honest. The weight on these vans is probably a little bit too much for the 500. And our support legs just bent because the wheels sort of tend to, they want to roll backwards on it. So you put the brick down and it comes down on the brick and it's all nice and hunky-dory. Moving down this way. Oh, we have the, um, sorry, have the vinyl sort of protective mat on the, oh, on the front which just buttons on just broke the button that's how good they are you guys. broke the button um and yeah that's kept it so we've done 11,000 k's roughly on our last little holiday with it and that's kept it basically chip free no damage on there yeah at all and we've done over over a thousand k's of some pretty rubbish dirt roads which you'll see if you watch our channel subscribe here <laughs> um <laughs> You'll see, we'd go up the Birdsville track and go some pretty remote sort of areas. All right, we'll keep moving down. Moving around. Comes with your sort of your three exterior, or four, sorry, four exterior lights. One of the best mods you can ever do. Get some little yellow electrical tape, just put over the top of there. So good, especially the one in the kitchen. Oh yeah, so that, that end one. This one attracts so many bugs. And when you are doing the dishes, cause that's the kitchen, you get a mouthful of moths, and it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just storage. Now, one of the great things about this van is how much storage it is. It is, I just, I was just joking before, it's like a TARDIS, the amount of things <laughs> we can hide in here. Now, we are about to leave tomorrow, so she is fully packed. And yeah, so this is exactly how we would go traveling. Yep. Now in here, I wish this door had a gas strut. Mm, it's annoying. It's a little pet peeve of mine because you're sitting here and you're trying to unload it. I will weld a tab on and put a gas strut on here. But top shelf is all sort of your lighter stuff as most people who would pack a caravan would know. This has got fishing rods, spare pool noodle, a clothes rack, with some cooking oven and stuff. And then I think it's clothes and shoes out the back there. No clothes, just shoes. Just shoes, okay, just shoes. <laughs> Down here we've got a couple of tables, our um, floor mat, I might get that out actually. Oh. This is the budget muck mat. 
I think it's, I think they're 10 to $15 from Bunnings. Meter by meter. <laughs> Does the Perfect. job. Does it for us. So we've got a couple of tables in there and a heap of chairs, a ground mat and a picnic rug. Not, not a great deal going on in there. Um, close that one up. You can also access, I should say, while this is open, this top shelf, you can also access it from the inside. Mm -hmm. And when we're showing you through the inside, we'll open them up and show you what you can see and how much you can get. It's actually funny, you can put bigger things in from the inside than you can here, because this little entrance is a little bit dicky if you're trying to put bigger things in, but the shelves open up quite wide and you can get some good stuff in there. So we'll just close that one up. This one here, guys, now, as I said, we're fully packed and she's got a bit of weight on her. This is another one of the things I really like about this van is these two right here. Out she comes, out she comes. Out she comes, to there. Then the pantry's open. So you've got two big pantries out here, which we don't tend to put too much heavy stuff in because obviously it's all the way out the end. There is a support leg that goes down, but we just tend not to leave the fridge all the way out. If we're using something, we'll slide it out, grab what we're using, put it away on the fridge. Evercool 95 litre. We already had this. It comes, or the, um, they come with the option of a, is it a Coolman now? A yeah. Mike Coolman? A yeah. Mike Coolman 96 litre. So this fits, and as you can see down the sides, it's a nice snug fit. Just enough room in the middle there for uh, all our little bits and bobs of kitchen junk that you always need. Yeah, and another thing that is, I guess, overlooked or a lot of, um, trailer company builders and stuff and people with fridges don't think about where it's plugged in yeah I'd like to put it on a runner but before that it's connected with an Anderson plug there's an Anderson plug there which means you go on those off um, those corrugated roads that like rubbish conditions your little cigarette plugs not just gonna rattle out it does have a cigarette port in there for anyone if you don't have an Anderson plug wired up to your fridge but one thing I would do as soon as I buy a fridge is cut the cigarette plug off and put an Anderson plug on there it's Mickey Mouse. Just have a look at this, guys. You want to see how full we are? <laughs> There's not oh, a bit of... Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at them. Well, that's Father's Day. Yum. So that's... So we have two... Obviously, two sides. This is the freezer side, and then that's the fridge side. This here? Oh, my God. In I'm my so previous, happy. In my previous video, <gasps> this is what caused the awning to come out, because we just bought it. <laughs> well, g'day, guys and girls. That was a good wake-up call in the morning. I'm just taking the van to van hub to get serviced there's the van's pretty empty inside so they can get to it and do the servicing and whatever we just had like a little metal um a fridge insert that we bought over the oh, last couple of days that we're gonna put in the <coughs> excuse me we're gonna put in the fridge just to like divide it all up so that slipped down and hit the awning the awning open button. So I'm cruising down the highway and what do I see popping out the side of the car or out of the side of the van is the awning just deciding to extend itself all the way down. Thankfully I did notice it before it was sort of doing 100 kilometers an hour and it was fully extended. Anyway, pulled over on the side of the road and had to fix that. Whew, got the old ticker going, didn't it? So I don't know if that's a common thing that like caravan is know about but I sure as hell do now I'm gonna make sure nothing can slide into that because that that can happen very easily and if I wasn't on the ball or I didn't see that or something that could that very easily rip off at 100 kilometers an hour with no supports no nothing out there so yeah that was fun and games let's let's try and not have any more events like that happen this morning <laughs> And of course that happens when I'm on my own in the car. Nobody else is here. Oh well. <laughs> but it makes me so happy because now everything that you need is easy access on the top and then everything you don't need all easy access is underneath. And that makes me so, so happy that we found one. And the only gripe we've had with this fridge, and we've had this fridge for what, two, three years, two and a half years now? Two and a half years, yeah. And there was a point there where we were running it 24 so this was my beer fridge <laughs> but this was all fridge and this was a freezer at home yeah is when we left this on freeze and didn't open it every day the seals they just they stick 
in here and it peeled the seal off. So, but that was only because we weren't using it all the time. It was, it was, it was essentially like a deep month. freeze. Yeah. yeah, it was only yeah, it wasn't getting opened at all, and they just stuck. So we just went to Bunnings, and I just over the top of the seal that was already there, stuck some more seal on there. Works a treat. Have not had an issue since. So if that's the only graph I have, well, this fridge has now been running 24/7 for a long time, and oh, don't you just love it? Everybody has copied Evercool. So good. Everybody so sees good. the Mike Ullman that does that. You know where they got the idea? I, I don't know. Mike Ullman might own Evercool. I don't know. This was. I saw this one first. You got a bit of like green grass hanging out of your beard. That's no, okay. still there. It's gone. <laughs> Bit of green grass. All right, we'll slide this one away. I've got to show you more storage. So one question a lot of people have had in one of the hybrid Facebook pages that we follow is how people store things in their van. So I'll just show you quickly our pantry. So we we don't take our cat. This is for the crab pot. The the cat stays at home. Secret. <laughs> cat and dog food in a tin, guys. <laughs> Everybody raves about chicken necks, chicken frames, mullet, whatever. I have had nothing but luck with cat and dog food. Punch a couple of holes in the tin. Excellent. Anyway, continue. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is just your standard pantry stuff. Um, for potatoes and onions, because you don't really want them rolling around, we just went to the cheap shop. I have to put the lid back on. Went to the cheap shop and just got a plastic container and that usually does sit on. We just drilled some holes in the top for some airing, otherwise your potatoes sweat and go all gross. Um, down the bottom here, we usually put the, the bread in the fridge because it does sweat, but the fridge is full. <laughs> um, we've just put our pots and pans in here. So this is, it's Blake's. Um, oh, the veggie bags. Found hey, veggie I found bags. some veggie bags. These things, guys, are the bomb. I bought them from, I think it was like a health food store up in Townsville. They keep veggies fresher for longer we than had, our Tupperware we do. We had spinach in here. And we closed it up and we've been here for probably a fortnight, if not longer. And we would have bought that. Probably a week or so before that, so yeah, almost a probably, month, yeah. and I probably still would have eaten it. Yeah, it was it so was, fresh, it was yeah. so good. But anyway, yeah, we keep our pots and pans in here because it is quite a deeper drawer, um, so it's just easier to keep them in there, easier to pull them out, easier to put them back in. Um, that's just what we found. Yeah. I don't particularly like them there, but hey, they fit. They fit. That's and my it's opinion. Kind of, but it's kind of like the only place that they will fit properly. Without them yeah. rattling around. Also, that pot and pan set from Audi. Oh, so I'll pull you out. Good. I'll pull you out one. That does slide out a little bit more. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. We got enough room. That. <laughs> if you know what this is, it used to be a um, toaster. I cut the handles off, spread it out a little bit, pulled the airfoil off. It's an amazing trivet. <laughs> We're in the Weber. <laughs> so Audi pots and pans. This is the smallest one. You got one bigger pot and a fry pan. Now every single one of them. Not, they don't all come with a handle. There's a long handle and a short handle. But the handle fits on every single one of that's them. so good. But when you're packing them away, that's all you have to pack away. You don't have to worry about and the handle sticking out everywhere. And the alley, and... they heat up really fast. And the non-stick on the, even the big one that we used, yeah. we didn't take this one on the previous trip. And we regretted big, it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We had a little, like a compact, I don't, I don't know if you'd know, but the hikers sets that sort of you get five or six pots and pans all in one. Mm. Um, had one of those sets and they're just they're too sticky you cook one thing in there and you'd spend 40 minutes trying to clean the bottom of the pot well, we initially bought them because we did all our cooking over a campfire yeah. and they're really good for over a campfire because you don't care if they get a little bit ruined because they're cheap and they heat up really easily so one mod I can highly highly recommend we've seen somebody on the altitude owners um, page and we're so gonna do it welded a bar across here because when it's all the way out and you've got a beer you've got something you just grabbed out of the fridge you can't close it, you push down on one, you push down on the other, and it just, you need two. So you weld a bar across there so you can one-handed close it. Yeah, we were going to do that before we left, but yeah, we just, gone. yeah. Too many other things to do. Too many other things. All right, moving right along, because this is going to be a long video. I haven't done anything except the a beer up. <laughs> we were just in the fridge. <clears throat> We'll go inside. Riz will show you through inside. That's her domain. I'm not allowed in there. Except to sleep. <laughs> Occasionally. Um, your little bar most fans have. One thing we like that we've seen on sort of other vans is the insert, the cut out there so you can put mm, bottles of scotch. bottles and stuff. Bottles of scotch is more like it. <laughs> yeah. But it's just becoming like a little bit of a sticker wall. That's just sort of a few brands and stuff we like and some YouTube channels we, we follow. Yeah. 
Them guys, rate them. So good. Um, this little one, again, storage everywhere. Just a little pantry. You know, this one you can one handed open. One handed open, one handed. So it's just two little shelves, full of storage. Comes in handy. A little bit annoying with the kitchen there, but hey. Yeah, we keep just... we keep our coffee. Mahalia coffee from South Australia. So yeah. good. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> Mind the dust on all the sliders. Yeah. As I said, we've just done the birds for track. We and tried really hard to get all the red dust out, <laughs> but anyone who's been there, red dust. Yeah, you don't well, get it out. You saw in that little clip that we took the other day that um, I was using a compressor to clean the dust out. So uh, yeah. <laughs> What you doing? Hi. What's happening in here? <laughs> He's cleaning. So I have my compressor. I have a face mask because I'll die. And two fans to direct the dust out the windows. Because the amount of bull dust that is underneath <laughs> is disgusting. <laughs> it's like, it was like that thick on top of the aircon box. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is what's going on out here. Everything is out. We have the luxury of stopping between holidays. And oh, look at that, that's disgusting. <laughs> and um, yeah, giving everything a good clean. Oh, and it needs it. Yeah, it does need it. Here we go, I haven't probably shown you this in a while. Start and finish. So we went all the way down there, and all the way down there, and we went across into South Australia went kind of this way and then we went down did the bottom bit back up up oh not that way this way up Flinders Murray Birdsville yeah into Birdsville and then back home oh Aramanga dinosaurs Ooh, dodged the highway didn't want to come through Toowoomba back home <laughs> Next one's going north, chasing warmer yeah, weather. Boy. Up well, there, up there, get out of this lockdown. into there. Yeah, boy. But yeah, this is a bit of just cleaning. Yeah, so we're currently in lockdown, in the Brizzy lockdown. Yay. Um, it was initially only meant to be four days and it got extended seven days. And I reckon it's gonna get extended another week, but oh well. The van was meant to be in for a service today. Yeah, but, but of lockdown, technically the van company's open, so, but we can't travel more than 10 kilometres. Yeah. So we can't go there. Yeah, it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the risk. So as soon as we're out of lockdown, it'll go in for service and then we off again. Yeah, boy. But for now. Just a few little maintenance. Tidying up, like the, just regreasing things and doing. I know it'll probably get done in the service, but I like to just yeah. do it anyway. Just so you know, you look cool. Just a head poking out of a window. <laughs> now you fixed it with an arm. Oh, sorry, I'll get rid of my arm again. There we go. Floating head. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We'll <laughs> try it. Hello. Do, 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 probably looks like every other hybrid kitchen you've ever seen. We kind of like it. One of the things we really like about this, and it kind of steered us towards this one and away from a couple of others, was just move our cutting boards where we keep them is that is not the cheap Chinese one it's a Dometic so if it breaks down they're everywhere in Australia we can get them and apparently because the caravan market has blown up people are really struggling with their um the, your uh the other type of burners I don't know whether they are Chinese they probably are a Chinese type burner are struggling to get stock in um the kitchen just does kitcheny things they fold down um, if you are going to take these off-road and corrugations, these screws, guys, notorious. Bung a little bit of Loctite on them, screw them up. Isn't, you're not really going to stop them, but they like to unscrew themselves. The only thing I will say is one, if somebody ever develops a slide-out kitchen, can somebody swap them? Sink here, stove there. Stove there, protect it from the wind a little bit more. Sink here. You get a little bit crabbed when you're trying to hear and you're doing dishes. Well, I do anyway. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's just a sort of a hole through to under the sink. That one there's got uh, two water ports and the um, light plug. So this light comes up and plugs in there. And that's what? 
Um, just your cutlery. And it's a quite a big cutlery drawer. It like, is. as you can see, we've got a lot of it's stuff in there. It's quite decent. Yeah. Yeah. Get yourself one of these. Amazing. <laughs> rice spoon, is it? Yeah. Came with the rice cooker. Yeah. Uh, and this one, guys, we just keep our plates and bowls and the big spatula, the barbecue spatula, because it doesn't fit. You know what else we keep? Pleasure. If you watch a Mount Gambier episode, the really expensive <gasps> cheese knives. With cheese knives! That we should be swapping before we leave. We don't have any here. Okay. That's why we bought them. They're all packed. <laughs> um, one other thing, you do get a little slide out, which slides out a fair way. Um, bench on the end. This, again, like the fridge, comes with slide down legs, but I'm not leaving it out. Just showing you for showing purposes. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't speak. Keep following me around. At the back here, if you go down and look, your gas bayonet when your kitchen's um, out, you just untwist the plastic there. And you got a little tap there for just for washing your hands when you finish packing up. I wish that was on the drawbar like you get on a few other models. But I mean, it's a first world problem when I have to walk to the back of the van to wash my hands, right? <laughs> it's a really a first world problem. Um, that be? Oh, who knows. Um, rear tyre, carrier, swing away. Um, this thing. lighting is terrible. Hang on, let me go. Yeah, that that's better. From over there? Yeah. Okay. I don't particularly like it, but I mean, it's you get what you're given. I'd like the tyres exposed. I don't really like this bit here. Only because I want to put a bin bag that's not on the front and my max tracks and stuff like that. But I've made it work, so who am I to complain again? <laughs> it might just be a little bit extra weight. It um, is a little bit harder to fold the bed down on your own too because you kind of got a... Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little pin system. And I usually do this while Laurie sets the legs and everything up. And it's just a little bit heavier to kind of hold down and try and get the pin in, which is yeah, doable, but... Leg. Like, yeah. Or tires, sorry, that you could you could just sit on and squash down. But I mean, it's still it's not overly heavy. I guess the gas struts are there, so it lifts itself up, which makes it a little bit harder. You can see the spot where we didn't wash at the car wash the other day. I didn't put the wheels down. <laughs> what you doing, babe? Oh, just... <laughs> Everything's getting nice, good wash. Fifty-seven wash. Fifty-seven wash. It is in. Brenda? Try not to fall past overhead head because you know that's my jam. So it's pretty easy access, you can drive in. Oh look at the colour! <laughs> that's half of that that Queensland right there. <laughs> There's a gantry so you can get up and do the roof of your van so if you've got really tall cars or if you're short like us and you need it to do um, normal cars because we can't reach the roof of the jeep because we're short they have an underbody wash which we can't use because last time we used the underbody wash the breakaway system had a hissy fit great for your car though if you've been to the beach or yeah whatever. really good for your car um might be common sense but i just go around and i put the pins back in just so if you saw me drop it on the floor before that's not where I leave it because uh, whenever you're packing up or you're setting up, it's low light, it's, it's never ideal conditions. So, yeah, it's in dust, it's somewhere oh, where it shouldn't be. Now, I've tightened all those latches, which is why that one was a little bit a little bit hard, just to try and seal to keep as much stuff out. But we did have to tape the whole edges, which really, really helped. And with this many things that pop out and pop up, you're going to have leaks of have dust. To use a little bit of tape, yep. This is how easy this is, and one person can quite easily, well, quite easily do it if they can hold on to it. Hey. <laughs> little latch there. This just slides out, locks into the corner of your um, carpet of roofy type thing. Again, same thing. Up there. And this is the part that we struggle with. Because we're short. <laughs> I've got a little everything. So we ha we have a little, we did have steps, but we've bought ourselves a little fold, fold away step to use. So fold that out and lock it in. Otherwise, if yeah. you come in here. I made a boo-boo. I didn't lock it in one day and I tore the little seal. plastic seal. But so, hey, that happens. Yeah. And that just folds down. Fold now on the inside. Come off. 
So when you're on really corrugated roads, those little latches, they do come undone. Um, it's just so that it doesn't kind of rattle and scratch. Well, as you can see, um, that one at that end has. Oh yeah, one. that one has. And then that just, they're on so gas struts, so it's nice and easy to fold up. Flick them down before it gets to the top. Another one little trick. Caught. Little trick. And then you just, a little pull out. Metal, metal um, top flap, if you're coming a bit closer. This top flap. Over the top one, bottom one, goes over the second one down. It took us a couple of goes to figure that out. Well, they were too they were too tight when I got it, yeah. so it didn't quite go over there. And I was trying to... We were very confused. Yeah, I was wondering how it all went <laughs> together. Anyway, that's that's the back. And if you come around the side I here... made another little boo-boo there. Yeah. We, uh, we had a little baby gate in there to stop Blake from falling down the steps when she was little and I didn't realise that the edge of it was rubbing against the window so it's put a big dent in the window. <laughs> I was very upset about that. And if you come around to the side here, this is the popped out part. Now you get to, you go from having a 13 foot van to 16 foot. So just be aware of that when you do park it or if you're in a tight spaced caravan park or you're reversing it into something, you're going to have to allow for a couple of foot to come out the back. Yeah. Which you get well and truly used to. It's kind of, if you look at it from this way, it's it's the, the width of the, the wheels. Yeah. So you just got to allow for the wheels to come down and then you'll be fine. Uh, keep moving around. And we've had no issue with water ingress or anything in here. Now we've been in here with some serious rain. The only thing I will say is it's not as you can see that bottom isn't very thick it's not very insulated like it's not the composite panels that you get on the side of the van so you do whoever sleeps in this box if you sleep east west gets cold or if you both if you sleep north south both your heads or both of your feet get cold yeah so just be aware of that you do need a little bit extra warmth if you're on this side in the in the box yeah um, One thing we have seen, because that, that's obviously flip side with, with in the sun too, it would heat up. One thing we have seen is people putting um, like shade sail once the top's popped from the top all the way down to kind of keep the sun off the back a little bit, yes. which we might end up doing because we are going north. So I a solar panel on it. Yeah. <laughs> so which we'll again, see. it'll stand off and it might reflect a little bit of the heat. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't unlock all of these. Oh, no. Pause it. We're back. I have the keys. Mm -hmm. I can open it. Does anybody else get handed a bundle of these keys and it's like, yeah, these keys do that, these keys do this. I've now figured out which key does everything, but it takes a while. We figured it out because we lived in it for like two and a half months. <laughs> so there's just your water fill. So just your, um, you get 200 litres of water or 200 litres of fresh water and another 100 grey water. That is just your fill point. So we that's basically all we use. That is for when you're hooked up to a caravan park, screw your fitting in there. And we have got a pressure relief valve in there to do it, but we just don't really use it. We just run off the, the water that we have in the tanks, and then when we leave, we fill up. Yeah, we, I, I don't like leaving water stagnant in the tanks. I like them to be, like like the water to be a bit fresh, so I don't mind going through and having to refill the tanks on this every day. I can't remember the last time I opened the shower. Um, probably when we were at Double Island. I don't remember what key it is. <laughs> There's a lot of dust in there. <laughs> it's not that key. All right, guys, bear with me. <laughs> See we're what we were talking the, about with keys? The, going on the great key hunt. Hey. It is the same key as the bar. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very clearly, we didn't clean all the dust out of it. <laughs> Outdoor shower. Um, hangs up there. I'm not going to pull it out because, well, dust and everything will get everywhere. We don't use it. It's great for the beach though. We might use it a little bit more on this next trip. You set it up, you sort of rinse yourself off, just get all that salt water off for the day. I guess if you don't want to get in and have like a full shower. Um, the casualty. One of one of only two or three casualties we got on the um, Birdsville track. Stone chip into your antenna outdoor, point. Um, aerial antenna point, which we don't use anyway. No. So no great loss, but yeah, someone else driving past us, stone. Yeah. Hilux. <laughs> well, it was a highlight. Um, your... Ow! Oh, I just stood on a prickle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to sack my cameraman soon. Ow! <laughs> your 15 amp um, plug, just for hooking up to Caravan Park's power anyway, really. Um, wheels. We'll mention, we get 
you get these um oh what are they two six five two six five seventy five on a sixteen inch rim you could ride which basically every camper gets come standard with really they're not a horrible tire they're not the best tire either they you do get a fair bit of um grip out of them they throw a fair bit of mud but they wear very quickly um if you come around with to me so we've just recently swapped them over these were the tires that were on for 11,000 k's we maybe did a little bit more than that with a couple of um double island runs but if you look here on the tread you can see there it's basically non-existent basically non-existent basically non-existent very now that very was small. because i knocked the wheel alignment out and this one was towing in almost 10 mil which the um guys at van hub fixed up for us but even so, you're looking at this one, which we're, which wore pretty good. We're over 50% through it already, after and only sort of 11 to 12,000 k's. And there's lots of um, quite large chunks out of them as well yeah. that we noticed after from that, we did the birds. From those sort track. of high speed dirt roads. Yeah. And I did air down and did everything that I should have done. They just wear a lot faster. Yeah. Which is, I guess it's a sort of cheaper tire, but that's okay. If you look after them, they tend to, well, we had no punctures, we had no split side rules. We had no issues like that with them. Um, I'm not a fan of these plastic hubcaps that do, I don't know what, retain your um, wheel bearing cover. I guess they serve a purpose, but I don't particularly like them, but they're just decorative. That's just my opinion though. So hey, we'll move on. Toilet, everybody knows what a toilet looks like. Your other side, tunnel boot. This side, Okay, get back to that. <laughs> I missed miss this. That. This is a grey water. <laughs> that symbol probably shouldn't be on a grey water thing, but I think it's just a universal sort of water tank housing. But that's grey water. So when we finish with the trip, put a little bit of water in there, drive around for a little bit, slosh it around, empty it out. That's just what we do. You do whatever you need to do. <laughs> this tunnel, this side tunnel boot. If you remember from the other side was sort of, there was two shelves in there. This side, <laughs> hello dogs. <laughs> this side is a little bit better in the fact that we get, if you can point the camera up in there, if you can see maybe. Yeah, you get sort of full height. You can bring her back out now. Bring the people back out. <laughs> you get sort of full height all the way up into here, the storage, which is great, but you always put too much stuff in here that's too heavy. In my opinion, it's too high for you to put heavy stuff in, but it's the perfect height to put heavy stuff in, mm. all your big things that don't fit anywhere else. So we just got a washing machine, footy, just some light stuff, baby's toys. A spare water tank. Yeah. It's an, empty. An empty water tank. And when I fill that, I'll swap it with the jerry that's down yep. the bottom because that's a 30 litre water tank and it will weigh more. Um, Again yellow tape over this light we haven't done the shower light simply because we weren't really using the shower light yeah and i figured if we're going to have a shower it'll probably be during the daytime it won't be at night and if we are having a shower at night it'll be inside yeah one um, thing too these lights are on sensors as well so oh yeah. when you when the light power's turned on and you open it this is a little sensor here and it automatically turns that light on um we taped over the one on the fridge slide because when you put your when hand you... in and out of the fridge it was like flickering yeah, it gets a little so, bit annoying. That was a um, tip from the owners. Yeah. They said if it if it annoys you, just put a little bit of tape over it. And it works a treat. This drawer, or this hidey compartment, came with two drawers and a slide at the bottom. Slide at the bottom, we only have the baby queue, wouldn't fit in there. It was more for sort of like a toolbox or maybe a little generator. Or if you had a Ziggy that the lid If you had a Ziggy. Flipped. We won't talk about Ziggy. Shut up. Um, I didn't yeah. know that you wanted a Ziggy. We just keep the Weber and a few dirtier things in there. I have been known to keep firewood in there. And then just sort of ropes, tie downs. And the top ones, just sort of tent pegs and more lubricants and a dirty rag and stuff. Nothing crazy. Just bits and bobs that don't really have a home that need to be somewhere. Yeah. And it, all the bottom drawers, all the bottom storage ones, come with a gas trap, but the top ones don't. Which is super annoying. That's what I said before. <laughs> it's just a little pet. Little pet peeve of mine, yep. but that's alright. Um, you got yourself some rock sliders on both sides, which if you come around this way, babe, and sort of put her in here, you can see you got a bit of hammering from all the rock chips. Oh, I can't really get the camera in there. 
<laughs> or you can sort of see them. You could just bring it up to this part. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So I was... <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. So rock sliders we thought were really awesome because a lot of the hybrids actually don't come with rock sliders as standard. So no. we really, really liked that about these. The Jawa were the only other ones that we saw that came with. Yeah, I think a few of them do now, but or yeah. it's an optional extra, but... But yeah. as standard, yeah. Um, while we're talking about things down low, bear with me for a second. I'm going to put my beer down. <laughs> and then you're coming with me. The council needs to come and mow the park. The council do need to come and mow the park. All right, we're going down. We're going to have a look underneath. All right, so now we're under here. If I spin you around. Thank you, trip in a van. Um, pool noodles. Put pool noodles on all that sort of exposed piping. It, it does come um, with the sort of core flue type material already on there, but just for a little bit of extra protection. Yeah, you can see grey water tank there. Oh, if I lift up, big mud flap. You got your independent suspension, which is the sort of cheap Chinese one, but we've had absolutely no issues with it. And your two other water tanks at the back there. All right, and there we come out. Babe, help. There they are. In there. Hello. <laughs> Down there. Hello, Jigsy. And Harley. The white one's jigs and the blue one's hard. So we do usually take them when we go camping, but because we've been traveling around Australia, well, not around Australia, but we've been traveling so much and national parks and such, you can't take dogs. So it's just easier to leave them at home with mum and dad, which is sad because I miss them when we go, but what can you do? So there's not much to show and tell. She's pretty stock, but we'll just Ooh, do a quick... We can show our new sticker. <sighs> oh, the, ah? Pram's rolled forward. The pram's rolled forward. <laughs> The going to be Okay, take two. Showing you our new sticker. Automatic doors. Who loves them? Because <laughs> I don't. You can't just kind of like shove it. So this is our new logo sticker. Ah! My aunt is a crafting genius. These guys. Highly recommend. They're amazing. North side of Brisbane. Go there. Yeah. Really well priced. Really good. Just good people. Very friendly. Um, so, tow vehicle. 2017 My beautiful Jeep. Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. So that's the sort of the off-road pack already. Got the air ride suspension, so she's full air ride. Um, I think it's run on nitrogen, but I don't. I don't know that 100%. I'm not a Jeep guy. Um, well, you are now. <laughs> well, I am now. <laughs> basically, the only modifications we've done is I put some slightly bigger tires on there, which are basically a 33. So I've been told the 275, 75. Oh, sorry. 275, 65, 18s. Like Kumo's. Kumo Road Ventura, the ATs. I may do a review on these tyres. I may not, but I highly rate them. They, yeah. They've outdone all our expectations. Yeah. Inside, she's basically as stock as a rock. We have done nothing to it except... Nope. We haven't done anything. No, we haven't done anything. About, about one of the only mods we have done. Oh, we added the tow bar. Is the tow bar and, and, the a, bar. and a um, Red Arc Tow Pro Elite. Yep. <laughs> um, so again, the tyres. ARB Bull Bar. Which I have run ARB for as long as I can remember. And I've had some really big animal strikes and the bull bar has never ever let me down on no matter what vehicle. So it was kind of a, it was a pretty easy choice. I wanted wing protection because if anybody who knows Jeep know, these are a HRD headlight. Some of the issues are HRD headlight, that's the automatic washer. Some of the bull bars sit too high or they block that, not ADR compliant. Your automatic washers have to be able to wash your headlights. These are also anywhere between $1,200 and $1,800 each to replace. So wing protection for me <laughs> that was, was a, a must, big one because you do that once or twice and you basically pay, pay for your bulba. Yeah, and we have to give a big shout out to the guys at ARB at North Lakes. They yeah. were amazing. We had a bulba on order in Townsville for like six months and it didn't come and we couldn't get any straight answers and we were both getting really frustrated Two so days we cancelled the order. Um, yeah, so we rang the guys at North Lakes and he was able to squish us in and get us in two days before we left. Get the bulba all so, up. Like, yeah. It, that was just stayed open late for us yeah. to come pick it up. Yeah. yeah, really well done. Such Thank good. You guys.
Um, such good, that's English. Such good. Such good. <laughs> Eventually, I want not not too many mods. I want a winch and I want a snorkel. Yeah. Really, just and probably a just roof for rack. That sort of what was that? Sorry. Probably a roof rack. Yeah, a roof rack and maybe some underbody protection. Really, just complete touring spec because we are talking touring capabilities. Um, yeah, so that's currently at its just sort of normal height. It goes up twice from there. You get about four inches of lift in your full off-road two mode. Which we saw sort of and touched on when we... In our um, um, Flurio or our Robe episodes, we yep. went and drove around Robe to Beachport in the sand. Which will probably be the next one out after this, we hope. Maybe. It'll be coming soon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we touched on a little bit more. So it goes up two and it'll go down one more. Which does make hooking up and unhooking the van sometimes so really much easy. easier. Or leveling it out. If you just pull up like this and we're setting up for the night and the front's a little low, the front's a little high, she's the car. All right, I will hand you over to the better half. You can look at somebody slightly more attractive <laughs> and we'll talk about the inside.